What is going on guys and welcome back to the crew 2 and well as you all know this recent week we have two new vehicles one of them was a jet sprint boat which was really awesome to see honestly I'll leave the link of that video in the description below if you're interested in seeing that the other vehicle we got was a called the extreme air XA 42 which is obviously a new air race plane very happy to see a new plane added uh, mainly considering I only use the Zivco edge I really don't use any of these other planes here to be honest so I'm interested to see how this plane does Driving it in the actual race in the Summit, I was kind of iffy on it a little bit. I'm going to do a race with it as well, talk about it a little more, and then probably do a skill with it, see how it does in one of the aerobatic skills there, because we do need, obviously, these planes are very, very good for those. At least some of them are anyway. Anyway, let's go take a look, see if we can do any customization of this. Jumping right into the customization of the new XA42 here. So is there anything that can be done to it? Well, you can change the color of it here, the official colors, if you guys are interested. Honestly, the colors look pretty awesome there. That blue is very, very nice. I might end up keeping it red, though, because I like how that looks with it. Obviously, you can also do any of the Crew 2 colors as well. This is for pretty much every vehicle. Uh, I mentioned that in the Jet Sprint video. And you can also add liveries to the vehicle as well. Some of these people make amazing liveries. Honestly, most of them do. I mean, these people put so much work into these. It's amazing for what they do, and like I really respect this for real, this amount of time this much take to do this. So there's no visual parts you can't do to the plane, obviously, because, well, if you could add anything to the plane, what are you going to do, like, put, like, a spoiler on the back or, like, some spinners? Probably not. But at least there is some stuff that can be done to the plane and stuff like that. And then looking at the vanity items here, you can add smokes to it. This would be the smoke that shoots out of the plane, if you are wondering. I probably don't really use this too much, mainly because I don't really care to use smoke. kind of gets in my face a little bit when I'm doing, like, aerobatics. I don't really run it too often. Anyway, let's go jump into a race with it and then do an aerobatic skill. Having a new air race plane is very, very nice, and wondering how this thing will do is definitely a concern of mine. Using this thing in the Summit, I was actually kind of surprised. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. The speed seems pretty decent. It's up there with a lot of the other planes. Some planes might be a little better with handling speed. Um, I think adjustments on the wings and all that in the settings and all that good stuff does make them a little bit faster, but not by much. As see, I am also going against my Ghost, which is the Zivco there. Overall, the plane seems to be holding itself pretty well. Uh, one issue I was having with the Summit Race was I was having a little issue with the stability of it, like spinning it back and forth, but also it seemed to do a pretty dang decent job because it has good speed and all that. Good uh, The handling is actually pretty decent. It's not as like wobbly as like the Harman Rocket 3, for example. It seems to be a little more stable than that, which is definitely a good thing. A lot of these races, you'll probably get like one or two seconds off, um, something like that. Normally, it's not too crazy, like compared to like some of the other best planes. This thing is definitely seems pretty decent overall. Let's go in first person real fast here, right after I can get this checkpoint after going into this very weird... There we go. So, first person's going to look pretty much like the other planes as well. Let's hit the nitrous here. Hitting the nitrous and the air race planes, by the way, with this perfectionist and gateway, you'll pretty much never run out of nitrous. You guys see my nitrous go all the way back up hitting this. Pretty insane. So keep the plane speed up very, very quickly. So overall, I must say the plane's pretty decent. I wouldn't say it's like the best, like new best plane to use or anything like that, but it definitely seems pretty decent and it's definitely worth a shot of trying out. If you guys are wondering if there's like a new plane you want to try out or you're tired of the planes you're using, this plane definitely deserves a look and I think it's actually pretty dang decent for the most part. Anyway, let's go do a skill with it right now and see how it does in an aerobatic. So for the aerobatics mission, I figured I'd jump into the Central Park one here, mainly because it has some good turns and some stability tests for this plane. Definitely put it up there and see how this thing will actually do. Overall, I must say, guys, the plane is doing pretty decent for the most part. I'm actually pretty impressed with it so far. Compared to the other planes I've flown in this game and tested out, this thing definitely seems to be better. Uh, I know the Harman Rocket 3 is very weird how it flies. It'll, like, jump around and have some issues sometimes and trying to get it stabilized in some areas. This plane is very, very nice how it's flying, and it seems to be holding itself very, very well. I'm actually pretty impressed with it. It reminds me a lot of the Zivco for the most part with its handling and how it's actually flying, which is very, very good and something I definitely look for in these. I would have to say this plane is up there and better than most of the planes that we currently have in the game. I honestly must say the first race did a pretty dang good job there. This plane is actually pretty impressive, and then in the aerobatics I was generally surprised too on how good it actually did. I know many of you are looking for a plane that has good in stability and actually decent in speed. This plane definitely seems like it does a good job in both there, and I must say that it is definitely worth a look if you're looking to use a new plane or test new planes out and see what you want to use something different, you know, stuff like that. This plane definitely seems like a better choice now than a lot of the other planes do, I must say. Um, like I said, I don't really use the Harman Rocket 3 as much, although it is a very, very good plane still. I just don't run it like I was. I normally run the Zivco for pretty much everything, but that may end up changing now with this plane in the game. I might start using it in some of the like aerobatic type of skills and all that just to test it out in there. 
and see how it actually does because it was pretty impressive and I feel like most of the planes can get the same score on those like 155k or so. Really can't get much more than that with pretty much any of the planes unless you know you might be cheating or going insanely fast. Who actually knows? I don't really know if some of those guys get those points but hey they're going really fast right? Uh, for this plane though what is one thing I have noticed about it that sets it apart from the other planes? The first thing I must say is how this thing handles itself overall when flying it like it doesn't get janky or weird or wonky some of the other planes will like shake and have issues and like they won't be able to stabilize themselves very well with the wings and all that and i it kind of bugs me and like going through these points you might not be able to get perfect on these every time so if there's like an air race of some sort or even an aerobatic type of skill and you're kind of struggling through it th those planes will definitely make that way harder and make it more stressful than it actually should be so if you guys are looking for a new plane uh besides you know the actual zivco there or you just want something else to fly around, this could definitely be a good thing to look at. It's honestly pretty impressive so far, and I must say, like I said, that race in the Summit was pretty rough using a plane in that, because you had to do all those crazy turns, spin it around, all that, and it still managed to do a wonderful job. Anyway, guys, I'm going to show you my settings now. So far, the two new vehicles in the game are pretty awesome to see. We have a new Jet Sprint and a new plane. It's good they're showing the other classes some love instead of always getting some hypercars, even though we all really do love those. And here are the settings I'm running on my Extreme Air XA42.